Hey fellas, well, well, the directs actually came two days ahead of when they said it would be with their, their partner showcase. Well, they said they were going to be doing one of these, and even though the release schedule may look a scene bear right now, it obviously will not stay that way. As I said, I'm just deliberately kept my expectations, hence, hence. Ebb and the cousin now playing cards with the chest, so let's. I feel about the same as I did for the indie world personally. Hey, but there are still some titles, titles that might interest me, so I'm just gonna go through them as before. So let's get this started. Yeah, <sighs> first off. On November 13th, we have Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. It's not quite a full-on Kingdom Hearts experience on the Switch just yet, but it is a start. I mean, Hurts, so it would be capable of running, hunting the other game, at, first, at least the first two of the other games on there, I mean, most likely. But this rhythm game spin-off, which does have some expanded universe content in it, should be interesting nonetheless. Yeah, so I'll be willing to give this one a try. I, I in the near future. I mean, so I'm still working on playing some of the other ones. Yep. Next up, we have Fuser by Harmonix, meme which will have some tracks I need to the Switch. So also, no Fuser will be unique to this version. Like, I'm not familiar with this particular game, but I do know the developers work. Given how. Not just with tones like being able to develop his guitar here on Rock Band, but also how earlier ones like Frequency and Amplitudes, I definitely understand what makes a big of a game work on the system. Um, it's clear that there's going to be lots of music in this, as as direct for better or worse. So I'm hoping that this this title goes well. Not an exact date just yet, but it will be coming out this fall, so I'll be keeping an eye on this one. Yep. Mm. Okay, we also have have Taiko no Tatsujin Rhythmic Adventure in a twin pack of the first two games, so they didn't just make one role playing spin off of the 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 rhythm game series, they made two of them. I am not sure how the role playing aspect is going to work personally, but I am glad that, that the rhythm game aspects that got me in the series in the first place are still going to be there. Probably not going to pick this one up right away, but after I get the actual drum and fun, I'm probably going to see what I put things first. I mean, so just going to keep this train alone um, because it's going to be a lot more I can address here. Here, even if it's I have mixed feelings towards the last couple of them and some of them other ones in there, yeah. Alright, so the next two I'm going to do at the same time because while one of them is going to stand out at me, he, the other not so much, mean, uh, uh, you mean, but not the way you might think. Water Tank Splits, I mean, I don't play a, any version of that, no matter how many ads I see, I'm, this is not going to make me want to start, or I mean... Big Rumble Boxing Creed Champions, as someone who has enjoyed the Rocky and Creed Disney films. And um, so that one's not coming out to 2021, if the World of Tanks one already is. is. But given how these games inter uh, very oddly they don't have much for actually do for it, even though the movies have been very good, I mean, I mean. You would think it wouldn't be that hard to make a compelling boxing game came out of these, these series, but apparently not. Uh, so, I'm going to keep going about some other ones I've been feeling towards. Moving right along. Collection of Saga, Final Fantasy Legend, and even though they translated these first three ones as Final Fantasy spinoffs again, and these are actually... He's something that's known as the Saga series, like, here he is, I mean, I pronounce it differently, hey, to reflect the 
bizarre romanization where they capitalize both the constants uh, just with the one in that franchise, but I'm just going out on them and say I'm not terribly interested in that one. I mean, I mean, as a whole, the Saga series is not as popular, popular outside Japan as it is inside it. I mean, I mean, given how Mana has an audience, audience, Chrono Trigger, it still seems a classic 25 years later. But this is not going to do it for me personally. It's December. Number, so it's going to keep going. <sighs> yeah. And here is the, the section of video, which I also exclaim they still make these. And apparently they do with the Just Dance 2021. Um, from Ubisoft coming on November 12th. Training may not be over, but neither is dancing, I suppose. I mean, yeah. I wasn't expecting anything about the Crown Tundra's official release or or even what they have planned for next year just yet, but still, it's Ubisoft. I mean, my guess is I'll still keep the series going until it seems to be probable for them. Um, I mean, a lot of people were thinking of whether or not something like Prince of Persia or another one of their biggest series would come to Switch. I mean, I mean, heck, even Assassin's Creed, the series which I'm really not a big fan of, of is cable technically running on the system still. You know, but when I heard that track in the hang of the video, you know, I have. I've expected to say, hey, hmm, I should see about my HBO Max subscription. Like, as I first thought, like, seeing that, like, Will and Carlton dancing, as well as, like, like the kids in South Park and their boy band, but gotta keep going, I suppose. On a more enjoyable note, given how I'm a bit of a puzzle game fan, and, and Puyo Puyo Tetris 2, who... The crossover between the Nine Tetris and Puyo Puyo series will be coming on December the 8th. I mean, as someone who liked the first one, it is tough at points, but it's enjoyable. I mean, I mean, and while the Puyo Puyo series may not be as big here as in Japan, it does have enough of a following to justify uh, coming here. Heck, even the Ohio games being released in original forms on the on Nintendo Online, I was kind of a big deal, so hopefully this game will be also quite as good, because there's going to be adding more to it, but it's supposedly also coming out on PS5 and Xbox Series X, but we'll see. So, and next is going to be like a bit of a lightning round as I wrap this up, so yeah. Okay, Minecraft Dungeons, Winter DLC is coming September. Not sure why you won't release the closest to the actual Winter Solstice, but that's just me. Jump Force Deluxe Edition, they finally find a way to make Shonen Jump's big crossover fighter, like their kind of Smash Bros. Avengers work on the Switch. Captain Tsubasa, Rise of New Champions, both these games are coming on the 28th, and they're probably not going to have time to fix the frame rate dips before... Or Friday, but hopefully we'll be able to patch those hoes in the future. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered, one of the ones I'm most looking forward to. It was like the first title that was made on Nintendo platform at certain main bridges after they're falling out. Now it's in the previous console generation at the time with Final Fantasy VII's development. I really hope they do a good job with that remaster. I'll be definitely picking that one up when I have the cash. So, anyway... That's about all I got to say for now, and that last one will be probably be out by the time you see this video. Oh, and I look forward to whatever comes next, and I will see you all later. Yeah.